Hello my scholars, welcome to my school channel. Right here we'll be solving English language jump past questions for year 2020. So stay with us, don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back. channel in this video clip we'll be attempting question 1 to 20 now question 1 to 5 comes with a passage so I'd advise you to read to read this passage carefully so you can click on the link in the description below where it takes you to my school website there you can have access to read the passage or you can pause this video as it is being displayed on the screen read carefully for proper understanding moving on to question 1 theater was popular in Africa because dash a was traditional and simple in nature. Option B dealt with the political, social, and economic problems of the society. Option C was a source of fun. Option D was communal and reflected the common concerns of the people. Now, if you've read this passage, you see that in summary, this passage talks about theater and drama, and it talks about the declination of this um, act. Now, in this, in, to answer this question, the first paragraph talks about how the community will gather together to entertain themselves with theater and drama, and that in the, the community emphasizes on um, um, community participation, peace, and progress. So we see that in all, it deals with the community at large and the concerns of the people. So we see with my explanation that option D best describes this, and the answer is option D was communal and ref reflected the common concern of the people. Mind you, communal means pertaining to the community. So option D is the correct answer. Question two. One of the reasons why theater is unpopular in modern Africa is that it's dash. Option A is regarded as not being of much use. Option B only deals with culture and tradition. Option C lacks scientific and academic basis option d is always funny and looked down upon now if you've read this passage very well you see in paragraph two that theater and drama was beginning people begin to pay less attention to theater and drama and it tells us that um, the rate at which people viewed it became low it, it the, the the utility scale dropped or reduced in paragraph two so Judging from my explanation or the content of this passage, we see that option A apply, is applicable in answering this question. It's regarded as not being of much use. Option A is the correct answer. Question 3. In the passage, the term theater and drama are used dash. Option A, differently. Option B, concurrently. Option C, interchangeably. Option D, sparingly. Option A, differently. Differently means not the same, or I would rather say separately. Now, if you've read this text well, you see that this word was not separ separated. Theater and drama was not separated in terms of concept or meaning. They were used the same. Option B, concurrently. What does concurrently mean? It means happening at the same time. If you read this text or this passage, you will see that the, the word was not used together at the same time. So what do I mean by used together? I mean using it like theater and drama. Theater and drama. We see that it was separated when, when it was used. Option C, interchangeably means to switch or to swap. In this text, theater and drama was switched. The word was switched. The term was switched together. Option D, sparingly. Sparingly means to use carefully or to restrain the usage of the, the word or the term. It was not used sparingly it was actually switched or swapped in paragraph one or first the first sentence we see theater the second sentence is with sentence we see drama rather third sentence theater comes up again and that so it was switched it was interchanged it was swapped option c is the correct answer question four one of the arguments in the passage is that academic playwrights dash 
Option A, express themselves only in foreign languages. Option B, serve as catalyst in the society's appreciation of theater. Option C, work against the common man's appreciation of theater. Option D, make the theater popular in traditional societies. Now in paragraph 3 and 4, it tells us of how um, African writers would use um, European and American theater conventions to write and it tells us of how African use foreign languages to, to, to write. So we see that from my explanation and from the context of this passage, option A is the correct answer. Express themselves only in foreign languages. Question 5. By the expression climb down, the author implies that modern playwrights should dash A. Be simplistic in the use of language. B. Not move up. C. Use language that is most appreciated by the people. D. Wait for the community to catch up with them. Now, if you've read this text, you will discover that option A and C is likely to be the answer, either of the two. But then, paragraph 4 states that the question often raised is and whether the writer or the playwright should or the artist should climb down to the level of the community or to stay at their exalted heights and wait for the community to gradually move up to it. Now this tells us uh, or paints the picture of complexity in the use of language. So with this, we would rule out option C and choose option A, be simplistic in the use of language. So climb down implies that uh, to descend in the use of language that will be understandable to the common man. Option A is the answer. Question 6 to 10 comes with a different passage. So I would advise you to click on the link in the description below. It takes you to my school website where you can have access to the complete passage for this video. So please read carefully. Or you can pause this video as it is being displayed on the screen. Don't forget to read carefully. Option, question 6. It is important for university to be independent so that they can dash. Option A, attract funds from industries. Option B, determine their goals. Option C, be left to expand without any hindrance. Option D, carry out effective research. Now, in this passage, we see in paragraph 1 that um, the writer emphasizes the need for university to be independent so as to try for intellectual pursuits. And it also emphasizes the need for university to be independent so as to promote university autonomy, that is self-government. Now, all this points out to the need to expand or function independently. Now, when you look at these options, you see option C encompasses all this importance. It, it talks about all of this importance all together. It talks about determining your goal and carrying out research as regards striving for um, intellectual pursuits. So option C is the correct answer to be left to expand without any endurance. Question 7. The writer advocates for multiple sources of university funding in order to dash A. Enhance university autonomy. B. Reduce dependence on the government. C. Ensure that the numerous needs of the universities are met. D. Maintain acceptable level of infrastructural development. Now, in this passage, in paragraph 1, we see that there are several sources of um, financial aid for universities. We see industries was mentioned, um, students, governments, and government was cited as an example that governments, um, if government is in a position to even give out all financial requirements for the university, it should still be restrained to promote university autonomy. So we see that option A is the correct answer. It was not just to reduce dependence on the government. It was also to reduce dependence on industries, on every other sources, just for the university to be, to have the self-government. So option A is the correct answer. I'd like to encourage you to take practice questions with our simulated Jam CBT Pass questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below where it takes you to my school website. There you can download my school software for your computers and laptops or my school mobile app for your Android phone. So go ahead and start taking practice questions in preparation for your upcoming examination. Now moving on to question 8. The expression intricate issues of special concern means dash. Option A, important policy statements. Option B, 
interwoven topics of significance, significance rather. Option C, complex matters requiring careful thoughts. Option D, naughty problems that concern everybody. Now, I'd like to refer you to this text. Popularly, they say that you, you can decipher or you can get to know the meaning of a word as it is used in the context. So please go back to this passage. But then in isolation, intricate means having great difficulty. Difficulty also means complex. So we can see that option C is the answer. Complex matters require careful thoughts. Option C is the appropriate answer. I believe you've enjoyed this content. Please do well to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get notified when we release our new videos. Question 9. The word diversified as used in the passage means dash. A. Differentiated. B. Varied. C. Diffused. D. Widened. Now, this is a very confusing question, but then you can understand the word as it is used in the passage by going back to the passage you read again. Now, you can decode or tell the meaning of this word as it is used only in the passage because this word is confusing or in isolation, it means something different. So, in this passage, it means to widen. So, it tells us about how university funding should be widened, should not be limited to a particular source. And that is the meaning of this word as used in the passage. So, it means to broaden. Another word to broaden is to widen. Option D is the correct answer. Question 10. The source of the university funding emphasized in the passage is dash A, government, B, industry, C, the general public, the student. Now, in this passage, we get the overall uh, feeling or the tone that was used by the writer is, is, is that of a general perception of government as a major source of funding to universities. And in this text, we see that in paragraph one, the writer uses the government as an example to talk about um, the source of university funding. Option A is the correct answer. Question 11 to 15 are questions derived from a literary text titled Sweet 16 by Bolaji Abdullahi. Now, moving on to question 11. Dash almost fainted when he heard that some students were caught on the school basketball court at night having six. Now, in this text, in page 36, we see that Aliyah tells her father about how some students were caught having sex at the school basketball court. Now, the receiver of this information is Mr. Bello. So, it is safest to say that Mr. Bello is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. Question 12. At Darwinly, Aliyah was referred to as A, journalist, B, sex addict, C, a beautiful lady, D, first lady. Now, in this text in page 2, you see that Aliyah was referred to as first lady, more like a pet name. So, option D is the current answer, first lady. Question 13. K-O-T-L means dash. A, kiss on the lips. B, kiss on the lap. C, kiss on top of the lips. D, kiss on top of the legs. Now, in this text in page 31, we see that Aliyah talks to her daddy about acronyms H A K and K O T L. H A K meaning hug and kisses. Y K O T L meaning kiss on the lips. So option A is the correct answer. Kiss on the lips. Question 14. How old was Aliyah in the novel? Option A 16. Option B 18. Option C 17. Option D 19. Now, in this text, Aliyah was 16 years old. However, the text gives references to Aliyah before the age of 16, but she was 16 years old in the novel. You can see page 1, sentence 3 for confirmation. Option A is the correct answer. Question 15. Mr. Bello is A slash and dash by profession in the novel. Option A, accountant. Option B, engineer. Option C, nurse. Option D, journalist. The correct answer is D, journalist. You can see page 1, paragraph 5 for verification. Option D is the correct answer. Question 16. In the following options lettered A to D, all the words except one have the same stress pattern. Choose the one with a different stress pattern. Option A, com commits. Option B, compare. Option C, complete. Option D, colon. Now let's go over to the board for breakdown. 
Option A, commits. We can see the stress on the second syllable. Compare, stress on the second syllable. Completes, the stress is also on the second syllable. But option D, colon, the stress is on the first syllable. So judging from uh, my explanation, we can see that option D has a different stress pattern as opposed to option A to C. Option D is the correct answer. Question 17. Choose the one with the different stress pattern. Option A, apparent. Option B, attractive. Option C, devastates. Option D, infection. Let's go over to the board for the breakdown. Option A, we can see that the stress is on the second syllable, apparent. Option B, also on the second syllable, attractive. Option C, devastates. So the stress is on the first syllable. Option D, infection. The stress is also on the second syllable. So the only difference we have here is option C. So from my explanation, we see that option C is the appropriate answer. Devastates. Please be reminded that there are several solution providers waiting to answer your burning questions. So go ahead and ask your questions and receive answers within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 18, choose the one with a different stress pattern. A, physique, B, menace, C, challenge, D, reckless. Now let's go back to the board for the breakdown. Option A, we can see that the stress is on the second syllable, physique, as opposed to option B, menace, challenge, reckless. So this is the only difference. Now, judging from our, the breakdown on the board, we see that option A is the correct answer. Physic. Do you have better steps, explanations, or solutions to any of those questions? Please feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the question number and the solutions you'd like to share. Question 19. In each of the following questions, the main or primary stress is indicated by writing the syllable on which it occurs in capital letters. From the word letter A to D, choose the one that has the correct stress for the word calculator. Now you have option A, calculator, option B, calculator, option C, calculator, option D, calculator. So we see that the word is stress originally or primarily stressed on the first syllable. Option A is the correct answer, calculator. Question 20. From the words letter A to D, choose the one that has the correct stress. The word is criticism, option A, criticism, option B, criticism, option C, criticism, option D, criticism. Now the correct answer is supposed to be stressed on the first syllable. Option D is the correct answer, criticism. We've come to the end of today's segment. There are definitely more videos to come, so if you like this content, hit on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get notified as soon as we release our new videos.